The mind game starts off in the movie as something that uh, Major Anderson uses to um, try and analyze what the kids are thinking and feeling. So the mind game is a fantastic uh, part of the movie because it's not only visually beautiful, but it's also important from a plot point of view. Because from a plot point of view, it is the way that the Queen is trying to communicate to you. The majority of the motion capture stuff, we really have to draw on that part of our brain and really imagine it, and imagine it so much that we believe it as the character is there. Okay. Action. Little dots on our face for all the facial tracking to track our facial expressions. And then we wore these suits with all these markers on, where all around the room there are these little sort of sensors which flashed infrared light. Beautiful. It allowed them to track us throughout the whole through this 3D image, in which they could position the camera anywhere and draw us in. The cameras which were positioned on our faces would then allow our expressions to be drawn onto the characters. Over there, shoulder. Abby, yeah, I think what you want to do is, right, that's good, and stop, turn to run. Go. Go, and that means going to put you on this side. Go, and they run. Now, run. Go! Go! Ah. Ah. This can entertain me for hours, you don't even understand. That's just really cool. And plus I had real fun because I got to play the giant. <laughs> no cap speed. We've got a fairy land. Okay, here we go. Choose right and you'll go to fairy land. What you gonna choose? Neither. Come on, little mouse, come on. One more time. Being the giant, you know, it's that, it's that moment that every director wants. They really want to be actor in the movie. So I got my, I got my chance.